Hi, it's Vaughan Smith, westcoatbellpottery.ca. Um, I haven't done a video of throwing for quite a while. It seems like I've been glazing, uh, unpacking and packing kilns. Um, but uh, that'll happen again soon because I've been throwing for two weeks now. Um, and um, so I've got, had two bisque firings um, and uh, I basically need to you know, throw some more pieces because people are ordering stuff. So, so I've got to get back on the wheel. But anyway, I have lots of inventory, so if it wasn't for orders, I wouldn't be throwing at this point because it's summer season and I'm watching my gallery camera at the moment to see if I have to go running over there. But I'm going to throw some tiny little glasses. Somebody has ordered, where did I put it? Here it is. Somebody has ordered little tiny glasses um, and this is including the shrinkage rate. So basically they're bigger than, they're this size now, but they have to be two and a half inches across at the top and uh, two and three quarter inches high. Uh, two and a half across and two and three quarter inches high. So I've made this three and an eighth high, uh, hoping it will shrink down to two and three quarters. Uh, and it's uh, two and, and a half would make it, it's just under three wide now. So I'm hoping that will be the shrinkage rate. We'll see if I'm accurate when they're out of the kiln. And I'm never that accurate. So basically there'll be some that work. Um, so anyway, this is my little template that I hold on the piece to make sure it's the right size. So what have I done? I've got a bunch of little, I'm not sure how much clay it's gonna take. So these ones are a third of a pound. Um, we'll see if I can get it with this. So, little square block, let's put you down so you can see. There we go. So, I'm not going to round it off, it's so tiny, I should be able to center that into a round without any problem. This is a Shimpo Whisper wheel. Um, if you're doing pieces this tiny, um, it should be very easy to center, just putting your hands like that and just pushing on and resting your elbows on your thighs. Let's do it for the beginners. So rest your elbows on your thighs and put your hands together. And I like to be able to see about half the, the clay spinning under my hands. So I can see if it's wobbling, but I can also feel if it's wobbling. And then you let go slowly. We've done beginner videos in the past. So if you want to know how to throw and center from a total beginner standpoint, just look up one of my older ones, or there's plenty of others on the internet anyway. So, tiny little piece, put your finger and feel for the center and just push down. This hand's not putting any pressure on, it's just gliding. So you push down, when you've got plenty of water, you pull across, leaving about, this is a small piece, so it's less than a quarter inch. So um, uh, that's probably about five, six, seven millimeters on the bottom. All right, and then pull up. And we're just doing this as a trial piece to see if I'm gonna get the size with this piece of clay. Pinch your fingers, so that's what I was touching with just there. Wet it again, fingers on inside, push fingertips together. Don't wanna to go too high just in case because I can always pull on that again, just trying to see what I can get with this one third of a pound of clay. Then I take my template, put it on there, and I'm really close with the first one. So it just needs to be more of a, a cylinder rather than tapering. Okay, so basically I can put my finger down alongside this rib and just pull my finger up the edge of the rib. And that will make it into a cylinder. So that means I'm just basically letting the rib drag a little bit of clay off. I should be able to reach in there without using a sponge on a stick. So get my little sponge, take the water out. This is number 516 clay from Pottery Supply House. It's a very nice smooth stoneware uh, that fires very white. So it's my 
um, clay that I decided for stoneware pieces to use rather than B-mix because B-mix goes to cone 5 and if you take it up to cone 6 I've had issues with some pieces cracking uh, but it doesn't happen with the speckle clay or this clay so I'm thinking it's the B-mix that when it goes to cone 6 um, can actually have some cracking problems. It's only meant to go to cone five, so what you know that's you get B mix ten if you want to go higher, I guess. Anyway, this is my first piece. I'm gonna pull that out just a touch. And now let's see what happens with this. So this is one third of a pound. You see it? I don't know how I did that. You're gonna say he's thrown about 20 of those already, right? But no, that was the first one. But that comes, you know, 40, how many years have I been doing this? 1973. Anyway, but the trick is doing it many times. But um, anyway, that looks like it's good. She showed me the photo of them and they have a tiny, tiny little... So if I do this on the bottom with the pin of my rib and then do that with the other end of the rib, I will hardly have to do anything for trimming because they're the right size already when they're so small. So here's how to get it off. Dribble water right around. Take your wire while it's spinning slowly and drag it through and it comes right off. That's a bit more wire than I need actually so I'll change the wire the next one. That was too long the wire. Okay, so we've got to make them that size. The next ones shouldn't be that hard. I leave the bit of clay on the wheel so this piece attaches easier. But that means I've got a little extra clay in this ball than the last one because of that slice of clay. Now, I get better if I throw something the second, third time, fourth time, it gets better and easier for me to do it. So I end up making them taller and bigger each time. So I'm going to leave a thicker base in this one since I had that clay left on the wheel. Now let's see. And all these balls of clay are tried to be cut fairly accurately, but I didn't weigh them. This felt like it was a slightly bigger piece anyway. And she also wanted to be, them to be one eighth of an inch thick, too. So this customer has given me some very precise measurements. So let's say I know I can make that bigger, but let's see how close I got already. Oh, it's a bit tall already. Um, but I can squish that down just with my finger, but it's ready. That's it. So I just got to take the rib again. Make it a touch wider because it was just a touch under width. And by making it a touch wider, I think I've got it the right size again. I don't remember when I made this piece the first time, whether it's a years back or whether it's just last year. No, it couldn't have been last year because we had no tourists last year because it was COVID time. It's still COVID time, although we're really good. We're only getting zero or one or two cases a day. We just had a HMCS Halifax just came into the city and um, from around the world somewhere and it brought seven cases back with it, but they're on board ship. So, so that was just in our numbers because it's in the harbour. All the cases, I mean, we've had zero for a week just about. So any cases come in will be because of travel. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, I can't touch the body. It's, this one's a touch higher, but it is the right width, just about. So I'd say that, like I said, this was a bit bigger piece of clay. And I'm glad I didn't do that extra pull, but I can knock that down by compressing the rim. Rather than cut a piece off, I'm just pressing down a touch. Yeah. 
this clay is so smooth I don't use to, I don't use a leather on the rim because it's <laughs> it's just like B mix it's a really smooth clay oh there we go I'm touching the bat and that is now I would say just a less than an eighth of an inch too wide anyway and who knows with the shrinkage if these are going to be exact but that's the size she wants so that's two and I'm going to use my shorter wire this time that one was a bit too flexible so this one they should just slide off like that and with this clay being very buttery sometimes it is hard to get them to release there you go there's the two see how I said the second one? Oh, you can't really see it that one I'll show you at the end that one is a tiny bit bigger than the other one So another ball. This ball feels a bit smaller, just a touch. Now I could have spent time just weighing each ball, cutting a piece off, adding a bit here and all that, but that, by the time I'd done all that, I would have thrown the whole batch of pieces already. So I tend to do my compression and maybe if I had to, I'd cut a piece off rather than weighing and measuring all the clay balls. Some people are really precise about everything and I've always been the mind that I want everything to be different anyway but I get orders sometimes where everything has to be precise so that's why I made that little jig that I've just used. Your hands just get to feel what you're doing and therefore I know this will be my last pull because if I go any taller it will be too big because I've made two already and I think it's a bit narrower this one so well, let's see how close I get without doing any ma measuring my garden I've just had some lilies come out in the garden they're beautiful maybe I'll post a couple of pictures when I actually post this video I think potters and gardens go together. There was a potter in Kent in England when I lived there and um, he had a beautiful garden and then of course Robin Hopper has a beautiful, had a beautiful garden, Canadian potter. There we go. So I'm not doing any measurement, I'm just going with my eye and what I feel for this piece. See if it ends up being too big or too small. See how accurate my eye is. Okay, so no measuring. What did I get? Oh, I think my eye is pretty good. Let's say we got that one. So, no fudging around needed. Oh, what was that piece of dry clay? Yep, from my wheel. Didn't you hate that? Must have been on my sponge. I just started throwing. I haven't thrown on this wheel for a week, at least, maybe more. Anyway, here you go. Water around, going slow. Keep it spinning slowly. And just pull it off. There you go. So that is three. I don't know how many she wants. She was supposed to tell me that. She was going to get back to me. There you go, so we've got three at the moment. This clay feels about the same size. What I might do is just throw this and speed the video up a little bit at this point because it's just repeating.